sure. So my name is Jan, Jan Pavelec, and I'm currently a proud student of a technical school in Kleszczów. And my classes revolve around topics such as automation, uh, electrical engineering and electronics. And I've been studying English for the past 15 years, something like that. Uh, and my whole adventure of different types of projects started uh, uh, back in summer 2020 when my personal dream of mine was to build an electric skateboard. And so uh, together with my fellow friend uh, Jakub Stuka, uh, we joined on the project and uh, it was, as I said, I kind of made my, my dream come true. Uh, because uh, I'm an avid longboarder, I love longboarding, uh, and I always wanted to have an electric skateboard. But I, I couldn't really afford one back in the day. So uh, what I thought was the best was to build myself one. And so with Jakub, uh, we managed to build one uh, with unconventional methods, I would say. Uh, and thanks to our knowledge from a school with electrical engineering and with Jakub's knowledge of programming, uh, we managed to make the project happen. And uh, uh, we didn't really thought about it as something special, but uh, only the, um, the words of our professor that uh, said that this, this project is really well and we can, do, we can go with it on, on for a competition, for example. And so we didn't really believe him at first, but uh, we managed to win a, a modeling contest in Łódź, organized by, by an association of Polish electricians in 2021. And then we won the Korean Youth International Olympiads. In uh, we, we won the bronze medal there in uh, 2021 in uh, uh, October, I think. And uh, we did, we were really shocked by how much we can. We were really unaware, basically, of uh, of our projects and how much we can do with them. And so, uh, in at the end of 2021, I was a part of. A, and on the beginning in 2022, I was a part of a concert competition in a team called Nerve, which uh, uh, one of which uh, in, in which our team took second place nationally in Poland. And uh, the crucial part in the competition was teamwork, basically. And so uh, every member of our group had to, had to work together on a on a project which was to build a satellite in a in a shape of a can. And so uh, my f main field in the project and tasks were graphic design, outreach, uh, photo reports, posters, and so on. And uh, the conjoint work of every members uh, managed to get a second place. So uh, in the future, I was thinking about studying abroad somewhere in Europe, then coming back to Poland. Uh, to do to to basically do something with the knowledge I gain uh, and the experience basically. So I think the the very important thing of those international relationships is the is the experience of uh, kind of you know uh, of getting to know the international uh, type of thinking way of thinking and uh, just to be kind of open minded and uh, think behind think through the bias and so on uh, but some that just, those are just some general words i would say but my personal dream currently is to in the in a, hopefully in the near future work on affordable uh, and uh, fully uh, fully uh, automatic automatic prosthetics prosthetic solutions for for example for limbs arms that's the, that's a personal dream of mine to to develop something like that, and uh, I think to 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 do so, it's nothing of a of an individual matter. It's more of a teamwork matter, and uh, working with other people on a, such a significant and such a complicated project, sophisticated project like this, uh, and the scholarship like this would be an opportunity to basically get this mindset going already and visit amazing places like NASA Institute and uh, Stanford. Uh, that would actually like uh, be very insp inspirational for me. Uh, and I think that's uh, uh, what else I can say. Uh, yeah, the, 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 the unawareness of my projects, uh, the, the how much I can do with the, with the projects I do, uh, for, made me think that th these projects can be so impactful 
uh, these engineering projects that let's do something impactful with them. Yeah, and that's that, that's the note I want to end on with. Okay, Jan. So that's uh, uh, that's it, and we can go to the questions, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. So uh, right now uh, we will ask you some questions, and uh, each of us has three minutes, you know, to ask you questions and find out more about you. And we will start from uh, Michał Stępniewski. Hello, Jan. My name is Michał. Good to see you. Uh, I read your. Good to see you too. <laughs> Thank you very much. I read your essay about Jan Trochialski. Uh, you know, for me, it's, you know, this is the new person. I heard about him, but uh, I enjoyed that the Polish people, they, like you, the young people, they, they know the history and that's the inspiration, the idol for you. But do you have, uh, from the foreign scientists, do you have an uh, idol or the inspiration? Mm, maybe not so much of an inspiration, but an interesting, uh, an interesting project you've worked on. Um, I'm thinking about maybe Goss, uh, the, the professor who uh, was uh, was in the field of magnetism and uh, was basically the one to um, uh, to discover. No, not really. To kind of uh, uh, make the the non-Euclidean ge geometry, which was one of the basics in theory of relativity for uh, Albert Einstein. So. Uh, that's an interesting person for me, and uh, non-Euclidean geometry, for example, that's the, that nothing is like for, uh, uniformal in it. So that's the interesting thing for me in 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 gas. So yeah. Okay, thank you very much. In your application, you are uh, writing that you are uh, dreaming to study engineering abroad. And yes. About, yeah, but do you have any plans, or do you have any dreaming institution, company? Where would you like to work after the university? Mm, I don't really have an institution right now. I was maybe thinking about uh, making my own company or maybe making my own some kind of uh, study laboratory, some kind of facility that could work on a project. Like I was, like I said, on uh, automatic prosthetics or like, uh, yeah, something like that. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. I, Jan, I have, I have a question. Mm, uh, what do you think about yourself? Uh, you are rather a person who is planning or rather you are spontaneous? Uh, if it's not apparent already, I think I'm a very spontaneous person. Uh, I'm not great of a planner, uh, but if there is a great inspiration for me that can drive me somewhere, then I would say that uh, this this gets me going, basically, saying, saying like that. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm not a great planner, uh, but the inspiration and the, I try, to, I get the inspiration from, for example, from people, from talking to people. I love to get inspired from people uh, and from from their pre projects, from their perspectives, from from like what, what the people do basically. Uh, so, so yeah, that's what inspires me on a daily basis. And do you think? I mean, if, if you could choose. Uh, one of uh, two career paths. Uh, the first one would be a scientist, and the second, an uh, entrepreneur. Which one you, you would choose? Hmm. Uh, that's a great question, actually. I, uh, it's I I always thought about landing somewhere in the middle, as when it comes to being an entrepreneur. There is no in the middle. There is no in the middle, so I'm gonna think about two individually and then I'm going to take my answer then. So when it comes to being an entrepreneur, if I were to be one, uh, I would be the one to be a, a very public person that was, that's going to basically talk about the things it, he does. And uh, being an entrepreneur and going somewhere with the, with the things you do, with the companies you have, uh, gives you quite a, a lot more uh, possibilities. To, to develop the fund uh, projects, to fund uh, discoveries, uh, while being a scientist, on the other hand, uh, would uh, would would make you do the things uh, firsthand, basically, right? To, to be the one to do something, right? And uh, hmm, that's a great question, but I think in the end, I would mix both and end up as an entrepreneur, probably, 
but I would be a very public person probably because I, I feel very comfortable talking and talking about my things, you know, my, my projects, my stuff, uh, all the things that inspire me. That's yeah. That's what I, what I feel comfortable. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Jan, I have a question about uh, values, uh, because you said something that thinking through values, it's very important for you. And yes. in the role of scientists or in other role in your life, um, thinking through values, I, I feel that is quite important for you. I would like to deep dive in what kind of values uh, you believe you think it's worth to, uh, to, 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 to go. Mm, I think of I think of two very important values. I think of uh, friendship, teamwork, and humility. Um, the first one, uh, what I would say about it is that uh, you can't really go everywhere individually as an individual alone because it can get you somewhere. But in the end, uh, it's you can do amazing f stuff with people in teamwork basically as uh, shown with my uh, with my accomplished dream of making an electric skateboard and as shown with a uh, second place in a concert competition with my team and uh, uh, the second value i the second the second thing i value the most is uh, humility is to not be blinded by your own ego because uh, it's, it's the thing that people struggle with and uh, being over here, like on the ground, not, not like thinking about yourself all the time, it's really what helps you to get perspective on the, on the real world, basically. And uh, yeah, that's what I value. Thanks. And uh, another question about your project, the electric skateboard. What was so unique about the project? How do you think? Um, I, that's when going into the details, it based the skateboard to be affordable, uh, had to have a pretty cheap uh, electric uh, uh, speed controller and uh, and a way to kind of, uh, and a way of braking that uh, would allow it not <laughs> to not be destroyed. Uh, because the problem with electric skateboards is that uh, the, their braking is uh, resolved with an, uh, uh, with a regenerative one, so that uh, the the uh, the energy gathered from the motors is going back to the battery, and that's a, when it sounds on the paper that's uh, like a great thing. On a, su such a small small vehicle like electric skateboard, uh, the wheels aren't big enough for it to have an impact really, and uh, it gives more problems than it solves more. So, um, what is unique about it is that uh, the braking is made like. Uh, like on a tram. So basically, uh, we are braking with resistance. We are applying resistance resistance to the motors, and that it makes it break. To just it just emits heat rather heat rather than collecting individual uh, energy from the motor as it's as it's going. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot for for the uh, for the answer. And now we would like to share with you a little bit of feedback. And uh, I will ask. Uh, yeah, feedback Nihon is necessary. Sentinsky. Yes, absolutely. Michal, could you share your feedback? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, you answered for the question, uh, Radek, that you are very spontaneous, and I see that's true, exactly that's true. And sometimes I think that being spontaneous, it's, it's also the plan. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so, Maybe. <laughs> A don't plan of my a character. Plan. Don't have a plan. It means that sometimes you have a plan. <laughs> so I think that yeah. uh, being like you, uh, it's it's uh, very often it's uh, the bigger opportunity to achieve something that has a plan and you know and and, and find some of the problems and the, the plan is broken. But being spontaneous, you, you are more creative. I say it helps a lot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I wish you to be as much as possible creative in, in the future and in your plan. Thank you very much for presenting. Thank you very much. That was a great compliment. <laughs> Uh, Jan, I, I, I learned, uh, I read your motivation letter uh, and you have uh, great achievements. Uh, I think that uh, giving us a presentation uh, would make sense uh, in your case. So this is just a suggestion. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, spontaneous. 
thank you. Um, but going for this presentation, I thought it's to represent myself with my words rather than images. But I guess you, you I guess you're right. Yes, images would make would make great addition to that. And uh, one more thought: uh, uh, if you take uh, one opportunity, it means you reject the other. Yes. Uh, if you are uh, an executive or if you are an entrepreneur not a manager. It mm -hmm. means uh, that you work in a team, but at the end of yes. the day, you are responsible for something and you are alone with your responsibilities. Uh, so this is also something that you need to keep in mind uh, when you plan your career. Uh, but uh, I am very satisfied uh, with uh, today's meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah, just, just a few words from, from my end. Um, uh, I can feel the passion from your speech. Really, I'm amazed by, by how passionate you are. Thank you. A little, a little bit of plan to this spontaneous, great personality would be awesome. And that's uh, that's the feedback from my end. But it was right. great pleasure to to have you here, and uh, of course, we will share the results tomorrow. Once again, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. For the thank you. Yeah.